And we're back from last we're time. Back. Okay, so we gotta get an outfit change, right? That's the mid-season Super Sentai power-up. I think in my train last night, what? Go Kite Christmas, Ranger was involved somehow. What'd you say? You were like half muttering, mumbling, scumbling. My weird ass train, though I can't really remember at all. I think Gokai Christmas Ranger was in it. Why do you, why do you remember <laughs> I don't know. Gokai Christmas Ranger? I don't know. Well, in other news. No, damn it, I can't. Maybe we were having a little bit of audio issues in the test runs. So I'm now wondering, did did watching the the bird Chrysler no. episode, maybe. No, it was just my <laughs> webcam that was connected. Okay, connected maybe it. maybe computer thought like, oh, these guys are gonna watch a Netflix comedy special and not even play me? What jerks. Sundering computer right here. <laughs> oh, okay, this is WD-40. Hey, oh, God, that, that can was bubbling. Okay. Get the fuck out of my ways. Alright, Coors Seltzer. The lemon lime is alright. Black cherry I got eaten. That one actually tastes pretty fine. The mango is alright. Grapefruit is unbearable. I could not recommend that ever again. I guess Coors Seltzer as well. Uh, this is a pretty hard not again for me. I just don't like seltzer in general, so Th that was already a negative point. Ah, oh, was that? What did you pick up? Was that a salt? Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, excellently peppered and seasoned, salted to preserve. That reminds me of a a funny tweet I saw. I was like, imagine if oh shiny. Right by the trash bin. Yeah. Uh, to the right. Oh. Swell. Oh yeah. Yeah. So the tweet I saw was that. Imagine if uh, Bob Ross and Gordon Ramsay traded careers in some alternate timeline. <laughs> it's just like you get a, a cook Bob Ross saying like, "Ah, oh, the chicken's a little undone, <laughs> but that's alright. We'll just throw it back on the heat. It'll be our little secret." Happy accident. And then a painter, Gordon Ramsay, would be like, Do these trees look fucking happy to you? <laughs> <laughs> that is something I want to see. Just an aggressive I, painter. I would, I would pay to see that. Can you believe Bob Ross was an Air Force pilot? Wait, he was? Or something like that. I forget exactly. There we go. No, I say yes or more. Alright, so then, this is gonna be a first. Oh, okay. Is this another mini game nope. of you becoming a. Okay. This is how Kiryu Kazuma, ex mafia, Starbucks barista, becomes a Kingsman. Oh, wait, have you actually seen the Kingsman at all? Nope. Oh, man, it is worth it. I even saw. A twenty dollar Kingsman bundle at Tarjay, and I was seriously close to just getting that. It was only twenty bucks, but also no one watches DVDs anymore. I think we might be part of the, like this is the real divide of Gen Z, because as it stands, I think we are early Gen Z, yeah, and we get mingled in with the, the Fortnite Gen Z kids. They're the later half, but I think the real generational divide is: Have you watched ever, anything on a VHS ever before? Yeah, that's the real generation divide. By that logic, I guess my sister is also part of early Gen Z because she didn't remember. She does remember. Watching something on VHS one time. Mm -hmm. It's a shame we don't have anything anymore. Oh no, we still have tapes at home, but we don't have anything to play it on. So we just have uh, what's it called? Top Gun and Walls and Grumman just sitting in the basement yeah. together. I do remember watching quite a couple of. Well, 
Wallace and Gromit stuff. Yeah, like, because we're, we're... Even the movie. The movie? The Curse of the, Curse of the Were-Rabbit. Oh, Were-Rabbit was actually alright. I even have, like, a Burger King, like, uh, Halloween you. pail that I got, I got there. Oh, God, and remember... It says do you remember, it was either McDonald's or Burger King a couple years ago, they released a, like a, a pumpkin pail, a hat trick or treat bag as a, as a toy in the middle of summer or something, and I was just like, what the fuck? July? Halloween? Okay. Oh, he's wearing the suit. I mean, it's flashy. <laughs> I think that's like if, if you if you Wait, look good, are you sure? If you look good enough, you can look in you can look good in any any outfit anywhere. If you like I don't know, if if you could if I don't know, Kiryu went in full like a hot dog mascot, I think he could still pull it off. Yeah. Just with his well, I mean, there's Energy. other costumes that he's been, been in that there's have been other weirder. <laughs> this reminds me of the other episode of the Big Bang Theory when Sheldon had to give an important seminar, so he goes suit shopping, and it picks out <laughs> the worst, gaudiest looking suits. Yeah. There's one where he's, uh, he microwave. Okay. There's the one where he's looking like he's a a conductor for an orchestra. He wears that kind of a suit. Why did you hit pause? And then there's another uh, where he's wearing like a full a three piece suit, but it's completely in black and white checkered. So he looks black like black and white checkered. I don't remember that. Yeah, he just looks like a walking chess table. And then there's another one where it's like 70s prom outfit. Stop kicking the can. Where it's like bright cyan blue with frills and like pink gloves and just yeah. What? Just it was complete. It was it was not for the right occasion. Now we are in the suit that started Kiryu's white white suit with a red velvet shirt. Oh okay. Ooh. Oh, million yen. And then they finally get Sheldon in the fancy black suit. Yeah. And then the... And he's like, I where, look ridiculous. Yeah. This. It's the one where Penny looks at him completely bedazzled, but he's just like, Are you I look ridiculous. Are you shitting me? Uh -huh. Wait, so you mentioned this is how Kiryu started wearing the white suits? Is that... Basically. Well, this is the start. Oh, does he always wear white suits? Because I don't actually... What have you like, seen in, in the rest of the games where any promotional art? I don't know, because I don't pay, pay attention. This is my first ever Yakuza game. And, it, like, the thought of Yakuza was just not present or conscious in my mind. So I kind of just never noticed. Okay, so does he always wear white? Is that yeah, his signature he, look? His signature look is a white suit with a red velvet shirt. Oh, okay. I don't know if they'd like change that every game or... No. Okay. I thought there was going to be like Lupin the Third. Uh, oh, okay. That was a weird thing. Because in Lupin, people have kind of... The whole Lupin series is sort of an anthology series, so you can just watch it in whatever, any order you want, basically. But there is a vague timeline fans have put together and theorized... But the thing I find funny is that people organize the different eras of Lupin the Third based on the color suit he's wearing. Yeah. So at first it was like, I got in, I think, during the green jacket era. And then now we're in the red jacket era of Lupin the Third. That's, that, I think that's just kind of funny how people put the timeline into whatever colored suit he's wearing. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know about the hard seltzer. Yeah, the seltzer is a little... Coors seltzer, I mean... I guess I'll, I'll drink it with one, when I'm with friends. And just talking, but... I wouldn't drink this for, like, fun or anything. Whoa! Okay, it's just three dudes. 
I thought the businessmen that came in out of nowhere were also gonna join the fucking. Can you speak now? Do you know if there's a. you give him? Do you know if there's a modding community for the Yakuza series? I have not really seen any mod. Oh, okay. Modding of Yakuza. Or think, not that I know of. I think it'd be fun if someone. Someone. You know those like weird challenges people come up with like. Can you beat Resident Evil if every enemy was turned into Mr. X or stuff like that? Or if they like, can you beat Mario 64 when there's 200,000 Goombas on every stage? I think it'd be fun if someone did something like that with this game where, uh, can you beat Yakuza 0 if every single enemy was a Mr. Shakedown? Uh, no. <laughs> Fuck no. Oh, yeah. I know for sure I wouldn't be able to do that. Who is this little kid? Oh, just some kid waiting in line for a video game. Oh, okay. What are you talking about? Aren't you waiting for Ara Q3? Ara Q3? It's a secret code. Ara Q3 series. This has to be a reference to some game it has to that be. I don't know. Mm. Or maybe they just changed the title and the localization. That was actually a, a video that the anime man came up with. He quizzed his cousin, uh, like, can you guess what the English titles for anime names are? <laughs> for something like Kimetsu no Yaiba or Demon Slayer, she guessed it was kill zombies. <laughs> just kill zombies. And I'm like, okay, it's wrong. But I can see it. Will you stop kicking the empty can? Dude! Jeez. Shit. And then, he grabbed his allowance. And ran away from home. Oh, okay. He's one of those sneaky kids. I remember the sneakiest thing I ever did in grade school was... I made a sack lunch for myself. And all I brought was... You put crack cocaine in it? No. What? I put crack in it. <laughs> I remember there, there's like this one Vine or TikTok where it's like a bunch of kids are like just going, like just content, con they're just like an infinite loop of jumping into the pool, getting out, jumping into the pool and getting out. Yeah. And then it's like some guy turns the camera to himself where it's like, I put crack in her <laughs> He's like, I put crack in their hot dogs and you're just like, <laughs> what? <laughs> no, I, what? I put crack in their... <laughs> I'm just, I was just going to say, I snuck two Snickers bars to my school. <laughs> How'd you jump to crack cocaine? <laughs> that is a noticeable escalation uh... in, in sneaky kidism. We went from bringing Snickers bars to school to, I peddle crack and cocaine. For crack. Well, crack in <laughs> and then he just like fucking like laughs his ass off and what? I love it. Oh, crack in the hot dog. <laughs> Actually that kind of reminds me of something my friend did one time for the band. He made brownies for us to bring to a game so we could eat after our uh, halftime. And then someone else joked, like, did you put any special special herbs or spices in these brownies? And then, he, and then the guy who made them was like, no, I'm not putting weed in the brownies. They're expensive and hard to make. I'm not giving you my weed brownies. Bro. I noticed that another thing you do where, like, you half read a sentence, but you also half scream every time they have a yeah. battle cry. Unleash the full scream. Don't, do not. I mean, I did unleash a full scream when I beat Mr. Shakedown. Yeah, last do that time. again. <laughs> Wear out your voice. Give yourself. Oh, actually, do you remember? I have to cut out his name. Do you remember all from Taekwondo? Back when we were like middle or high school age, he was a college boy, a black belt. The guy loves screaming a lot. Ooh, Whoa. give me your money. Shiny. Nabu Rishay. Okay. Oh, it's like a mini shakedown. 
Not really a mini shit town, but he just has a shit ton of cash. Okay. Oh! Yeah, like three million. That's a noticeable reward. Okay, I'll call him a micro shakedown. Anyway, one time, uh, he was screaming so loud, and just nonstop, on this one particular day, to a point where he lost his voice halfway through class. Mm. And so that finally Aye, shut him up. <gasps> oh, it's, yes. it's, it's, what, what name did I give him last time? I remember Heineken, and then... Yeah, it was Heineken. I swear there was another name I gave him. I forgot already. Yes. Yeah. Backstreet Boy, that was it. Fighting is tenacity. That's a secret. Sounds pretty simple for a secret, though I guess... You know, fight simplicity is best. Oh my god. Brawling comes down to the spirit in the end, so I'm gonna teach you the move that what? harnesses that power. Oh, spirit in the end. I, I when I you called spirit fire. When you said spirit in the end, you you did like a half mutter mumble voice. I thought you said spirit in the ass. I'm like, <laughs> what? Spirit in the ass. That would be an effective power to the ass. That would be an effective fighting com uh, technique. Just. Jam a spear. So you the... force them on enemies blow to strike them back with twice the power. Oh, it really is. Yes. Like counter or mirror code. You're back and swimming. Oh my god, we have hey. another hey. comeuppance. Hmm. I'm looking for Neo. Paid a fortune up front by some guy. I get the rest once the job's done. Do you remember at all watching the Matrix Shut movies? Shut it, I may not look like much, but I've never lost a fight. Do you even know what I just said? No. Do you remember watching the Matrix movies? No, I've never even watched one. Oh, you haven't? Nope. Oh, man, we gotta... You gotta try it out sometime. want some first? Do you all... Alright. It's very specific timing. Oh, yuck. That's one thing I guess Monkey Brain Me appreciates is that... In games like uh, Hyrule Warriors, or other games that, like that, where you, you don't have to memorize button combos or anything, you just mash away to, at a million goons. I don't know, something like that I just find nice. Alright, now you just beat him up. <laughs> What's that uh, blue triangle thing in the back behind you? Let's hurt him viciously. <laughs> Is that a box of nails? <gasps> not the vending machine! No, not that one. Especially not that one. Uh, oh, you can actually look at that. Oh, we can just... I'm spinning in circles. And actually, that reminds me of... Do you remember the, the, the morph sequence for Power Rangers SPD? How Eat this. they open the police badge, they do a backflip that's in them flying, and they put the suit on. Yeah. I remember how they do that in the, in the original Sentai version. They just have each of the rangers just floating in a void, and then they start twirling a million miles per hour, yeah. like you did for the, uh, the capital <laughs> plush. And then the suit just, yeah, forms onto them. Just something about that just looked really goofy to me. Bicycle. I like how it specifies red also. <laughs> bike wheel, okay. Just take the bike wheel. <gasps> Number one Shit. crate. Card. Single use. Oh, it broke apart into multiple pieces. Just like War Wario's motorbike. <laughs> Whoa, okay. The more I win. Yeah. Ding, ding, ding. We have a winner. I wonder how that's gonna sound in editing. It was dark, so I didn't get a good look at their fakes. No. It wasn't no. me. Of course not. That's the guy who's out to get you. <laughs> that was a big gulp of sel course seltzer you took there. So, how's the taste? It's alright. Okay. 
I think it's like the black cherry that's like making me like mm. but you enjoyed the cherry theme when we went to the birthday party yeah but black cherry and cherry are two different things are they though yeah okay I guess they're, they're very of, much different I guess there kind of is a difference but and then just slowly walks and away and just slowly walks away <laughs> he couldn't bear to argue us with uh, hear us argue about cherry flavors. We learn two bits of all of his moves. Hey, boy. Show your moves. How many more of these? Oh, is it only uh, five? There's, there's three more. Okay. How do I break down defense? Actually, those extra uh, ability rings that you spend money on to up your skills how do you unlock the other outer layers of the ring I think you have to learn all box pockets oh okay you learned from him that's how you unlock okay I thought Probably maybe boxing don't have much in common but I get what you're saying yeah. I thought maybe if you like completely filled out the charts and Ice then squeeze. it'll open up the thing the essence of face twisting. Face twisting? Is it... Okay, I guess we'll get a better example if we see. Yes. So you're Bacchus, huh? I like how each of these guys come in one at a time. Immediately after another. Just professional it, killers like us always risk it, when they could have just like all charged them at the same time. Are you awake? What do you mean? You, you, you just seem like you're half awake right now, just stuttering and mumbling. Words. A little bit, maybe. Oh, when did you wake up? Or ten thirty. Oh, okay. I hate my body. I got up at four thought this is way too early so I went back to sleep again and I wake up at 11 I don't know why my body does this uh, it would be perfect for having a four like a 5 a.m. job I think I realized that too because the place I worked at over the summer I worked from uh, 3 to 9 p.m. and then something's just depressing about coming back from a job what, late at the so night. Pass a guard, a guarding enemy's army, grab their face, twist them to the ground, and stump them, stump them to finish. Something about that just feels sad, even though if you work, like, the same amount of hours. Oh, oh, oh! Oh, oh god. Are you sure he couldn't fit in a Mortal Kombat movie? Because, goddamn. Again, he can, canonically, Kiryu has never killed anyone. Bullshit, he's never killed anyone? Oh god. Oh man. You you could hear the crunch when he was twisting the face. I'm slowly moving backwards. Fuck a robot. God. You think after the first face twist the guy would have realized no 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 this this dude is way too tough. I got to get out of here. Just fuck the money. I want to live. Ooh. Random topic to bring up. That's a bit behind the times that who cares about relevancy? Have you ever watched or read Uzaki? No. Oh, you yeah? have? I think it's the early oh, chapters. Oh god, this dude has oh. a shit ton of health. Yeah, it's a big HP bar. I think the early chapters are pretty good, but lately we're on the phase of them like slowly starting to hook up. And I feel they're taking too long. Just kiss already. God damn it. But also, the whole nonsense of people complaining about her looks is a little bit ridiculous. It's, it's, it's always been ridiculous. I mean, come on. I mean, if people are going to get pissed off at like, how huge, huge your tits are, then I, then I feel like people should be... Uh, I feel like people... Bitch. Then I feel like people. 
And you'd be like, what? I feel like people should, like, if people are getting pissed off about, like, how big your tits are, then I feel like people will... Jesus! You feel what? I feel, I feel like people should be getting more pissed off at, say, like, Monster Musume than... Okay, Usaki but that Chan. one, that one is like... It's supposed to be... Yeah, but even then, it's like, alright, you're giving up your... Also, I give up reading on that, too. It's been a year, and I just kind of got bored all that. But also on the Zaki, because, like, you, you know people in real life have portions like that, do you? To say she's unrealistic yeah. is a little, I don't know, harsh. Because there are people it, that do look like that. Okay, well, one really... Really, it was just Twitter. Yeah. It was... It was just Twitter people getting mad because it's like, ah, oh, it's not like me. And they're just upset that they don't have it. Have you That's been... probably what a number of people are complaining about. Oh man, I, I actually remember seeing this one video essay that someone did, like... Does anyone notice that as soon as Yahoo bought out Tumblr, or whoever what it was, and had the giant, uh, porn ban, suddenly everyone off Tumblr just immigrated to Twitter yeah. and Tweetums. And coincidentally, Tweetums became an absolute shit show. Twitter's always just been a shit yeah, show. Yeah, but it be became way more as soon as the Tumblr exodus happened. Are you sure? Yeah. Because back then, it was not nearly as Good. big of a thing. But then now, it's just... Everything that trends is just an absolute... Shadama Ladama. It's just not. I, I look at it, I'm just like, this is humanity now. I'm the same species as these Nimrods. Do you, do you think God, or like, God <laughs> fears us for what he has created? Or I'm like Omni Man. Like, these filthy animals. <laughs> these I feel disgusting animals. living among them. That's just how I feel. Oh, God. What? He lost all of his hair. <laughs> oh, that's a, a strange texture. Angle. Like, yeah, look at him. He lost all of oh, his hair. He, he looks a little... Not too swell. How many times do we have to teach you this lesson, old man? I mentioned this hockey because... Thinking about... My life. Suddenly, in like the last... Two years of high school, I remember... I sort of had Unozaki in my life. Because I remember there was this one girl like a year or two below me. I don't know, she, thinking about it in the hindsight, she really wanted to hang out with me during PE. Just, I mean, you should. She was a fine person, it's just I like don't know her at all, so. Then you should have gotten to know her. I, I probably should have. Agreed. That, that's on me more than anything. Nowadays, she's an Instagram model. Or like a, a, an independent sort of. Always finding interesting spots to pose and show off her uh, fashion. I would link her stuff, but I don't really know her, so yeah. I don't want to send strangers to her place. Fuck it, this is my chance to talk to her then. I'll just DM her asking, is it okay if I link to your thing? No, don't do that. Just ask if you want ask her if you want to hang out. Don't be a bitch. I don't know her. Then get to know her. This sounds like you want me to hook up with her. I'm not saying... You... There is the proper voice I wanted out of you, and not just you speaking half sentences. I'm not saying specifically to hook up with her. I'm just saying, alright, you're talking about this, why don't you just ask her? It's like, hey, do you want to hang out? Get to know her. And see on how things go. You Quit are, being a bitch. You are oddly passionate about this subject. Well, yeah. Wow, you... I don't know, Andrew's been talking to me about shit like that, where it's like, oh, wait, you, you think about it? Then just don't be a bitch, just ask her. Quit being a bitch! You are peeking the mic a lot here. Quit making excuses. 
Yeah, listen to him. Quit whining already. You don't know what we're talking about, old man. <laughs> what the fuck? I, like, I I've never suggest. really been a black cherry person. Really? Yeah. What about Dr. Pepper? That's fine. But that's also black cherry. Okay, I guess that's yeah, not... mostly. I guess that's not also disgusting seltzer water, so... It's not the seltzer water. It's just, okay, it's just a combination of the seltz, like, of the, the seltzer hard seltzer with the, with the black cherry. There's a black cherry flavor. The, the black, there, like, Mountain Dew Kickstarter has a black cherry flavor, and I've never really liked that one. Oh, they also have a black cherry? Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, is it the black with the red purple? Yeah. Oh, okay, I, I've seen that. just never tried it either. Auction in exchange for a cut of whatever they extort. Our job is to kick the squatters to the curb. Something else I noticed, or that just hit me, was that when we hung out at the birthday party, three of the five people sitting at the table all just said like they have ADHD and the one other guy and, my, and me who don't we just looked at each other like are we the only two normal people at this table and we was like yep wait when at uh, the birthday party we went to who was the normal people I didn't want to say it because now I have to take an extra five seconds to censor his name out. I remember actually the first time when I was there uh, like getting actually taking a little bit too much of drinks. POV. Like at most I've only had my face kind of feel flushed but I've never actually felt the effects of alcohol before. And the first time I noticed uh I kind of just got tunnel vision. Oh, let's at the arcade table. First time drinking, like, too much. It, it really did feel like I had tunnel vision. Because I can only focus on one face at a time. Instead of, like, the full, like, 180 field of vision I normally have. I pretty much can only focus on one thing at a time. This should work fine. You'll put this spot for a professional chat. Oh, do you remember the episode of Trash Taste where... Gar got kicked out of a bar. Um, shit, do I take the farthest seat or the nearest seat? It doesn't matter, does it? Well, this is a biz business thing. Take the they, they're all the, the same, I think. Oh, yeah, watch. You give him the, the one chair with the broken leg. You're not really... What? The end closest to the door is the foot, and the end furthest from its head is... Oh. Okay, this is, I guess, another thing I never knew or cared about. Okay, just more <laughs> etiquette and shit I never care to learn. So... The first time guard. Oh, yeah. Beer. I think a coffee is classy. Just don't get it on your suit, man. Nothing for coffee. Cough. Oh, yeah, school's well, back. Well, we haven't got. Well, we're still waiting on them. Yeah, I mean, um, school's coming back in session, so it's going to be time. I'm going to start chugging a lot of coffee again. Yeah. yeah, so the guard, uh, the first time he went to a beer, or, uh, no, he went to a bar, he had a couple of beers beforehand. Oh, he had one in line, and you can't bring in drinks from the outside, so he downs it all at once while waiting in line. I want to get to him. Yeah, uh, order uh, before the client. You okay. shouldn't have done that. Okay, okay. <laughs> so a bouncer comes up to guard and kicks him out. He's like, hey kid, you've had way too much to drink. Get out of here. And he's asking like, how did he know I, I downed an entire vodka right before? And then the bar, the, the bouncer was like, you've been staring at that one cup for the past hour and done absolutely nothing else. You are obviously hammered. Yikes. So yeah, that's just kind of how I felt. It was just like him. 
It's been too long. I only can focus on one object at a time. And who's this? He's uh, our newest Starbucks hire. We brought him to this uh, location. It'll be working under your care, Mr. Manager. Oh, is that so? Oh, God. <laughs> really bad time to put your controller down. <laughs> well, it wasn't down, but my my thumb was not near the buttons. I, I don't think I've ever though, though I do though I do know where it's from. This Kobayashi's Dragon Maid, where it's like it's like yeah, in Japan it's like you business card. Yeah, that's like the the. I also, I think I learned that from Trash Taste. Or somewhere. That business cards are like, just part of the interaction. In Japan. Yeah. I don't remember ever getting a business card. Except one of my one of my dad's friends gave me a business card when I when I went to hang out with him. Or like he went to have drinks and I just tagged along in Korea. And one of his friends just gave me his business card. Like, if you ever need something in the future, here it is. Yeah. Fast forward ten years. I never even looked at that business card again. <laughs> Uh, your beard looked extra scraggly. There's a loose hair. That's, yeah. Okay. Regular Jamie Heineman right here. Well, I mean, I don't have the walrus look. You're not the full walrus. Speaking of walruses, fuck that walrus from the Pingu episode. It's so cursed. I uh, do not know what episode you are talking of. Oh, really? Yep. It's no. the one infamous, the cursed Pingu episode where he's dreaming that his bed starts walking and guides him to this this humongous claymation walrus that looks so so cursed. Pull, pull up on your phone. Okay, let me just look up Pingu walrus for a moment. What? I watch your tone. What the fuck? My phone's already giving me a, an ad for a new Samsung phone. Get the fuck out of my face. I bet you it only gave me that ad because my sister just got an iPhone and, and then my phone was like, <gasps> she got a new phone? Hey, hey, buddy, would you like also a new phone also? Yours is only two years old after all. Shut the fuck up, phone. I don't need... I don't need someone new. Oh, uh, no. I mean, I've had my latest phone for two years, and I'd like a new one. Yeah. Oh, here here it is. The Pingu Walrus. Here it is. Oh, dear lord. Yeah. Fun that does... Oh, uh. Fun fact. Uh. uh. When Pingu actually used to... Where's its tusks? Oh, well, I already closed the app anyway. When Pingu... When Pinku used to air on PBS, because apparently they did that at one point. Yeah. That was like the one band episode. The one Good. with the walrus. The reason they gave was like, yo, what the fuck? We don't want to give kids PTSD, so. Make sure you share, share it on, on this video so people can realize. Yeah, obviously I was going to put it in. Now, I don't know. Do you not watch the. Oh, yeah, you don't watch the episodes we fit and we pop out. <laughs> Only I have to because I gotta edit these. I mean I had I mean I had to for R3. But you're the one but yeah, since you're the one that's making them. Those mugs in the background. On the, on the on the counter yeah. I don't know why. I pictured big ass beer mugs full of egg yolks. This is what they looked like to me. Ew. Oh yeah, Lindsay did that to Bernie once. <laughs> When he was sick. Oh, yeah. Here's a he, cup of eggs, motherfucker. Like, no. he, like, she gave him a cup of orange juice because he was sick. He takes a big swig and now <laughs> Egg yolks. <laughs> you right? Yeah. Egg yolk. Uh, no, it's just like with uh, just drinking all like just egg yolks. It's disgusting. That would make one Chuck Norris sized omelet though. It would. I mean, I'm guessing there had to be like, maybe like five to six egg yolks. There is a, a good number of egg yolks sacrificed to create a convincing glass of orange juice. Excuse me? 
Even if we're dealing with squad trash, you don't show up to the negotiation, negotiating table empty-handed. This again, fine. I think, speaking of orange juice, I remember a long time ago, when I was in Korea, I took like guitar lessons from this one guy, and as a present for like the first meeting, he brought just uh, a, a, a liter of orange juice. Yeah. Just as a little gift. I think that's what I'm gonna do for now on. Just everywhere I go, I'll, I'll just bring one. I'll just bring an orange juice to give him. And they'll ask me, "Why the fuck did you bring me orange juice?" To say, a long time ago, I have met a guitar teacher, and he brought me a, a liter of orange juice. So now I do the same. Are they going to argue? I I remember. Oops. You remember. I remember. Um, speaking of orange juice, I do remember uh, one time mm -hmm. where I was feeling like there was like this burning um, in my chest. Yeah. I was feeling, I was not feeling too good. Are you going to hit A or no? And so I was in like, at that very moment, I was feeling um, particularly not good. Thirst, well, I was feeling thirsty and like, I was like, orange juice should help. Right. Maybe. Uh, and I'll just say it right now, orange juice, um, as you know, is very acidic. Uh, yeah, it is a citrus. That, that's why I was saying maybe, because like, I thought the sweetness could have helped, but yeah. then the acidity. But the acidity, that's the big key. To, that but that's the big key something. to the whole thing. There we so, go. So yeah, there was just a burning in my chest, mm -hmm. and I thought, orange. I'm, you know what? It's like four in the morning. Drink some orange juice. Maybe that will help. No, that did not. That made the problem even worse. Oh, because yeah. after that, like, I just threw up. At, like just everything. I well, just felt sick and I threw up. And so the issue and what the issue was is that like I was I was stuck in the bathroom for like one to two hours after that. Oh. And my parents and my parents get up and they're like, Are you okay? And I'm like, No, I don't think I'm okay. <laughs> so they call so they call a doctor yeah. and they're like asking, Okay, so what's the problem? Because we cannot figure because we cannot actually figure out what was actually going on oh. with me. But after talking with after the call like after being on call with a doctor for a while we found out that the issue was is that um since I was sleeping, like, just, like, the bile from inside my stomach mm -hmm. was out, and it was just, like, in my esophagus. Oh. So, like, I'm just, like, sleeping, like, flat, so you can see on how it just, like, kind of levels out. Yeah. And it's just burning my esoph esophagus that, that whole time. And so, and so after that, I was, like, basically what I had to do was that... I like I had to go to the living room. Yeah. I had to go to the living room and just like sit up for the whole like the rest of the day cuz like not able to multitask. I don't know. I can't fuck. I'm trying to tell the story. <laughs> but like yeah, I just had to sit up like upright for the rest of the, for quite a while oh, okay. just so that like the bile would not be in my esophagus. Yeah. What's even worse? What's even worse is that that night, mm -hmm. like, the next day, or, like, that day, like, right after, like, right after uh, all that happened, yeah, I was supposed to go out on a date with my girlfriend oh. at that time, and it would be the first, and it, no, no, she was supposed to be coming down to my place, because she lived out in another, in another city. Yeah. And like she was gonna come over for the first time, I would get to show, show her like her whole setup and yeah, all that. My, yeah, not the not just the whole setup, but just show around town and all that and have a good time. And it's like, and I was looking really forward to it, but, but because of that, I like had to call her and it's like, hey, I have to cancel. And I was oh. looking really forward to it, and it just sucked. Big balls. Anyway. It suck. I think that's a good time. Okay, wait, wait, wait. I got one more orange juice tail. So, I remember this one episode of Caillou. I don't know what the context was or just what happened, but 
All I remember this from this one episode of Caillou was that they were eating uh, cereal out of orange juice. And I thought to myself, like, I guess the best combination. That is a weird thing. So I try it out, and it's actually alright. Orange juice makes a surprising decent milk substitute if you have cereal. Question, do you pour milk first or cereal first? Cereal first. Yeah, same. I, I like... You're a heretic if, if you do the opposite. I like my... I like my... my grains with a little... a little bit of flavor in yeah. it. But nah, my sister's the other way. Because she hates it getting soggy. So I tell her, like, the, what's the point of having milk? Yeah. And then just there, right as I say that, she has this... She basically has a, a ratatouille moment, and she's like, Actually, why do I put my milk in cereal? Why do I? Because she likes eating her cereal dry. I, I call it eating it raw, just to mess with her. I'm like, It's fucking raw! You're not gonna put milk in your cereal? She's like, No, I hate it when it's wet. <laughs> so I just make fun Ooh. of her. Oh, okay, another. So I like to make fun of her, like, Hey, you're like the... They're like the baby that we feed Cheerios because we can't trust them to eat a milk swish, with it. A Swiss watch. watch. That reminds me of that one scene. Come on, find me, find me, find me. You <laughs> that not. reminds me from the one scene from Robots where Rodney lands in Robot City for the first time. And then some shady salesman goes up to him like, Hey kid, wanna buy a watch? He shows up his arms full of three watches that are all... Each of them is a sentient robot, and they each whisper to him, like, Don't buy us, we're fakes! <laughs> that moment, I still think about it to this day. Robots was a great movie.